Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And somebody sent me this logo, and they sent me the PDF file and their Corel file. And I've already redone it, with the exception it needs some uh, cleaning up. And he was he was questioning about the uh, smoothing tool with that. It, this is actually X7. He has X8. But he was saying it was warping. So when I first clicked on his smoothing tool, he had a humongous circle like five inches and when you do that you really can't um, see it does it, it messes up everything it warps everything so you need to make your smoothing tool littler and then when you click on it and you can even go smaller than that if you just need to click down a few points and we'll just take this D right here and it does work and it works rather well. You have to click on your item and then smooth it out. Now, this is a text. And it's going to be hard to get it perfect like a text would be. But on the bigger letters, you could get it. But on these letters here, uh, it's a smoothing tool, not a magic tool. This just isn't going to work. So I took the initiative to find the font. And I think I'm dead on. Uh, this is, for this viewer, this is, uh, well, I guess I've already changed it. Uh, let's see if I can find it, what I did. It's Gabriola, and the original Gabriola wasn't quite thick enough. So this is one of the reasons for the video. And you can see here in just a second when I turn this black, it was a little bit thinner then the original font, as you can see right there. So I made a little thicker with the contour tool. And that's very easily done. And then I just typed in Times New Roman. And this is pretty close. And you might take some time to find another font. You might be able to clean these up good enough where it's going to work. And then this is going to take some work. But this is very easily done. And you could actually separate that eye. And, and make this a little smoother with the smoothing tool and then I'll get back to that font and a lot of times you could actually use the shape tool just to get rid of some of these nodes to make them a little smoother at first that's what I always do is kind of smooth them up especially on a, a long run is I just remove some nodes and see what happens first before I start smoothing and you can always, if you go too far, and then you can get your smoothing tool and smooth these out. And that's exactly what it's doing. It's, it's smoothing out the nodes and, and spacing them further apart. So this is very easily done or very doable. But the font is the question. And so I thought I'd go ahead and cheer how I made that font just a little bit thicker. I always do it in the hairline. So I'm going to left click, right click. And then I'm going to go to Effects, Contour, and I'm going to contour just 0 .002 to the outside. Just a very little contour. Then I'm going to go to the range and break contour apart. And then it's kind of a guessing game which contour you're going to grab. And I grabbed the wrong one, which is fine. But I got it out of the way. And then you could left click, right click, and let's do the same thing and you'll see the difference between the two fonts that I made it just a hair thicker with that point zero zero two quite a bit of difference but just minutely but it's more like the logo itself which is this is the PDF of the logo so if it was me I would take maybe a little bit more time maybe to find this font or take a little extra time and, and, and maybe contour it and maybe make it a little bit thicker. And I think that's really all it all really all that needs to be done. Let's get rid of our let's left click, right click, and let's contour it. Since it's a little bit bigger font, we'll contour it 0 0.009. And what that did, it kind of rounded off these corners and it connected our two letters. So we're gonna go to range break contour apart and this time try to grab the right 
one. Let's just delete or move that out of the way in case you need it for later. And then you could go in there and, and round off some of these corners very easily. Like that D looks like it has a rounded corner. So you could convert it to a curve. Go up to a range. Okay, it is already a curve. And then just maybe try to, maybe the easiest thing would just grab your shape tool and make these a curve by left clicking and then right clicking and those two will be a curve and then just make it a little more rounder to make it look like that font right there. And you could, you could play with it, but it did connect our two fonts. It actually put those two together, but that can be fixed. So, and you might be able to take that, and, and I didn't take very much time to try to find that font. But it's very easily done. It, um, it's doable. But a lot of times on fonts, you're just not going to be able to smooth that out at all. Uh, and, and the true font is going to be your best friend. So it's easier sometimes. For some reason, in, in Corel Draw, it just doesn't trace fonts very good. So we can go back to the smoothing tool and smooth this guy out. You have to click on your item to get it to start smoothing. And you could play around with this till, the, till you're happy and, uh, and just kind of go over the whole thing. Now I made that circle a little bit smaller. So if you wanted to make it a little bit larger, you could just grab your shape tool and just take these nodes and make it back a little larger. And you could do a lot with it. Anyway, I hope that helped him a little bit, and thank you for watching.